Fire! There wasn't much left of the German wing's plane that allegedly crashed into the Alps. They found a lot of clothes, but they didn't find the 150 seats. Why? Because... The plane has been obliterated. The plane is obliterated. The plane has been obliterated. Obliterated. Now, there's a word you don't hear every day. Why doesn't the media say demolished, or disintegrated, or disappeared? Why obliterated? Perhaps, as Zachary Hubbard points out, it is because in English Demetria, where A equals 6, B equals 12, and C equals 18, the word obliterated equals 666. Some media outlets referred to the airline as German Wing instead of German Wings. German Wing also equals 666 in English Demetria. Faith at the Murrow V blog points out that the tail number adds up to 324, which is 6 plus 6 plus 6 times 6 plus 6 plus 6. Mark Bell, he discovered that it was 666 weeks inclusive between the crash and the date the FAA published the requirement that foreign airlines would have to have locking cockpit doors. Most people have seen pictures of the co-pilot, but not the pilot that had to really go potty 30 minutes into his flight. Finally, his picture surfaced next to the co-pilot at a memorial that looks more like a ritual with red candles. In the occult, red candles incites accidents, fires, and injuries. It is used in spells to invoke power and intensity before workings of black magic. When used in black magic, Red, as opposed to black, brings on sudden attacks, accidents, bloodshed, violence, and hatred. Red can also be used to incite wars, anarchy, and cruelty. Mars rules red. Workings using the color red should be performed on Tuesdays when Mars is strongly placed in waxing. The alleged crash occurred on a Tuesday. There are staged photos of the crash site's first responders wearing red and black facing the Alps that seem to be part of the ritual. Now here are some coincidences. The media said that the crazy co-pilot was passionate and obsessed with the Alps. His initials are A-L. Add the initials of the pilot and you get Alps, where the plane crashed. The pilot's last name is Sondenheimer. A Sondenheim is a pro home where a crazy guy like Lovitz should have been. The flight was supposedly headed towards Dusseldorf, but if you draw a straight line from the Barcelona airport to the crash site, it was headed to the, one of the most satanic cities in the world, Turin, Italy. So when disaster struck, Andreas was headed to Turin, which is part of the Black Magic Triangle along with San Francisco, that is destroyed by the San Andreas Fault in a movie about a co-pilot in a disaster. Legend has it that underneath the Piazza Statuto in Turin is the Gate to Hell. Lovitz is pictured in front of the Golden Gate that is also on the Black Magic Triangle. Well, this is strange. Almost everyone who worked on the project is on this plane. Testers, software developer, auditors. Back there I saw the propulsion engineers. There's you and I, Horace. That's a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. The Piazza Statuto is a statue of Lucifer on top of a pile of dead and dying bodies. The statue is a starting point for a satanic ley line that was discovered by Fernando of Swiss 9-11 Truth. It includes the Cinema Statuto, where 64 people died in a fire because the exit doors were locked during a showing of the goat. The occult often refers to its victims as goats. 
Also on the line is Sandy Hook Elementary School and three mass murder sites in Mexico. If a straight line is drawn from the German Wings debris field through the Piazza Statuto, it goes to the Innsbruck Airport where British Eagle Flight 802 should have landed. Instead, it crashed into the Alps, killing all 83 people on board. Further down the line is this Czech bank in Chenrichru Karak that looks like a Nazi prison uniform. A little further, the line goes through the middle of a pit at this castle in Polna. 19-year-old Aneska Przolva's body was found outside of Polna around Passover in 1899, a deep gash around her throat. There was very little blood found at the murder scene. Leopold Hilsner, a Jewish resident of Polna, was convicted of murder. His defense attorney, Tomas Mazarak, was able to spare Hilsner from the death penalty and he was released from prison in 1918. Mazarek later became the first president of Czechoslovakia. Hilsner was suspected of committing a ritual called a host desecration libel, or a blood libel. Back in the 14th century, Jews accused of blood libel were burned at the stake in 27 towns, including in Ritu Kredek, where the bank is at. Continuing down the line is this obelisk that memorializes the hundreds, if not thousands, of Jews that were massacred when the Nazis occupied Borisov, Belarus. If the line is followed all the way to the Pacific Ocean, it goes to this building site in Dongpo, China. What was a sleepy fishing village is now a modern city with thousands of apartment buildings, beautiful artwork, and virtually no people. This is what they call a ghost city. I'm <laughs> <laughs>